Well, what would Arbor Day be without a few words about what Arbor Day is and when it was started? The first Arbor Day was April 10th, 1827, long time ago. J. Sterling Morton of the Salt Company uh, hosted the first Arbor Day. He traveled the country trying to get people to celebrate it. Actually had over one million trees planted in 1827. Pretty big feat for back then. In 1833, the uh, senator from Connecticut went to Japan and asked them to celebrate Arbor Day. And Arbor Day uh, went global at that point. And since that time, is now or in over 50 countries celebrated and multi-millions of trees are planted. They figure about 8 million trees are planted in the United States alone on Arbor Day. In the 1980s, Arbor Day took a big step forward by offering the Tree City USA Award. It was given to communities who showed a vested interest in their trees um, and took steps to preserve trees in their communities. Four things were, were required to become a Tree City USA. You needed to have a proclamation celebrating Arbor Day. You needed to have a tree board or a person in charge. You needed to have $2 per capita in the budget um, designated for trees. And you need to have a tree ordinance protecting trees. The city has all of those. We've been the second longest standing Tree City USA award winner in the country. Uh, dating back to 1980, the only city in the entire country having longer standings than the city of Lake Forest is Urbana, uh, down in southern Illinois. The people who are in charge of taking care of the trees have always been a sp very special group. Um, back in the 1200s, the Druids had priests who, who, who worshipped trees, and they thought the trees were this, the gift to the, to the world and going to actually help the world survive. Um, knowing that the tiger forest that surrounds the Arctic uh, is, is, supplies more oxygen to the, to the world than all of the other rainforests combined makes me think they had something, in my, in, something going when they thought that trees were saving the world. Um, other famous tree keepers I'd like to mention is the Lorax that Dr. Seuss thought was the keeper of the trees. And as a small kid I used to laugh at having a keeper of the trees. But the keeper of the trees in Lake Forest is Peter Gordon. And Peter has been doing an excellent job for a long time. Peter understands trees and understands what the community needs and has been working to preserve trees his whole career. Uh, my hat's off to Peter and hope it works well for you in the future, Peter. Um, we'd like to give a special thanks today to uh, two other tree keepers who aren't here, ex-Mayor Rummel, who has worked very hard to put together the 150th celebration and has worked to put together a booklet with funding from Mrs. Jean Green, another tree keeper who's been a big fan of the city and has worked with the city for many, many years. Um, we'd like to thank them all, and with that, we're going to move on and, and plant a tree uh, dedicated to Arbor Day. Thank you. Uh, for anyone who wants it, obviously, there's trees as well. Um, we have mentioned this before, but this is what so, um, we actually brought uh, this is Todd also pressed it yesterday. This is the witness. Did you book get book? Thank you. Uh, Peter, that book is awesome. How about you? You gotta have a book.